Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we're going to go over again how to grind gear in Darktide and generally how to get stuff like this. So you see a lot of people doing videos and they've got like crazy gear, super high level but what a lot of them don't tell you is that it starts out looking a lot like this. So how do you turn something like that into something like this? Well, pretty simple. There are three ways of doing it. And I'm going to go through each and every one of them with you. So the first way, Sire Milk's Requisitium. Every week, you do all your contracts. You try and roll the highest you can for these, the auto dockets to maximize the amount you can get. Each of these can be re-rolled with uh, gold, whatever the equivalent is in the game. And you can change the difficulty and the length it will take you. Easiest way to do it is just these ones. I wouldn't suggest doing the 16 scriptures or grimoires because it is slightly more randomized and if you can, you want to do it on all four characters. So that you'll get all of this, plus the 1000 bonus at the end. And then, every night at 1am, uh, BST at the moment, that's British Summertime, the store refreshes. And as you can see, I got very lucky today. And had two of these drop. But most of the time, this shop will be full of crap. It will not be great, but this is one way of getting gear straight off the bat with no problems. But as I said, it's incredibly random, which is kind of par for the course with gearing up in Darktide. It is incredibly random at all times. Second way. Well, second and third way. You come over to Requisitions, Weapons and Curios. You want to look for rarity high to low, and most of the time, the blue weapons are a trap. Because the rating might be quite high here, but usually the perks and the blessings are very low. The shop will not sell you tier 3 and 4 blessings. So generally what you do is you want to check out the green weapons as the perks can be tier 4, but the blessings will not be. You find an item rating that's fairly high. Generally, you want to buy anything over 360 and up, because it's they're usually okay to roll and to dump resources into. And the perk doesn't matter too much, because you're going to be re-rolling it later anyway. But mostly, you're looking at the grey items with a very high modifier. So as I said, 360 are up. So these two here, fairly decent for turning into what we need. But as you can see, these lower ones are almost not worth taking. But that's if you're trying to get a specific item. So if you're trying to roll an item, let's just go over here to the crafting station. If you are trying to get, for example, Pinning Fire or Inspiring Barrage, what you will need to do is buy lots and lots of grey versions from Brunt's Armoury and you'll be upgrading them to blue. Because when they hit blue is when you get your first blessing. And you'll just be upgrading over and over and over until you get a tier 4 like this. Opening salvo, tier 4. And from there, you want to go over to Earn Blessing. And this is only for if it's a trash weapon with a trash rating and you want to earn the blessing off of it. You surrender the weapon and the blessing gets put into your, you say, catalogue of blessings. So... You can come over to look at your blessings or once you have 
and it will show you these. And then you can apply these onto a higher item level weapon. So as you can see, this pistol here has surgical rank four. I want that. So I'm going to strip it off and then apply it to the better one. As you can see, this is 375. This is only a 348. Whereas like the penetration is very low, the mobility and all that. But with this one, everything's a lot higher. But the problem with this is you'll be spending a lot of money and a lot of resources. But it's generally the most consistent way of getting better gear in the game. So you come over to Brunt's Armory. You pick whatever weapon that you're trying to grind for. And you will just buy them over and over and over and over. You'll keep the ones that are 360 and above to try and turn into decent usable weapons and anything below will be rolled up into blue items to try and strip blessings off of. And this is incredibly grindy, but this is the loot system and this is generally what all the runs are about. There is one other way to acquire weapons in the game and that is at the end of every mission you are given an Emperor's Blessing. Now, 99% of the time these items are going to be absolutely awful. Uh, the higher difficulty you do kind of improves the rarity and well, it improves the rarity of the item, but it doesn't guarantee that the item is going to be any good. So if you're doing uh, like Damnation or Auric difficulties, the likelihood of getting a transcendent orange item is a lot higher. But that item probably isn't going to be great. But it is a way that you'll be getting weapons. But the, the item you get is completely random. It will just be an item that your class can use. But other than that, that is generally how you're going to do it. I will touch on curios because they are slightly different. So what you want to do with curios is the same thing we were doing with blank weapons. But what you're actually looking for is blessings. So you'll just buy from the shop a curio, the highest blessing on. And preferably, as you can see here, the blue ones, with one perk already on them that you want. It makes it a lot easier to roll up an item, a curio, sorry, that already has one perk that you want because you can reroll two perks on a curio. So let's take, oh, this is a perfect example. So 19% max health. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. It does have 5% toughness on it, which means when I upgrade it to Transcendent and it gets all three perks on it, I know I've got the 5% toughness that I want and the other two can be re-rolled to whatever I want. And you don't have to roll these up to get blessings or anything off of them. They literally are as you get them. And then the two perks that you don't have you can just pick from the list this is very 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 grindy but it's the gameplay loop of dark tide and after a while you will eventually get uh blessings you want you just have to keep checking the shop every hour if you're playing you buy something like 21 percent max health that's a pretty decent roll and you just grind them up and if you're doing this across all four characters, yeah, this is it's going to cost you a lot and a lot of time. But with the Sire Melks requisitions, you can generally get yourself a decent set of gear after a while. Be sure to check back uh, once a day into with Sire Milk and see if there's anything decent here for you. I wouldn't splurge out and stuff that you don't really need to start with but once you've got a decent set of gear you can just start targeting blessings that you don't have or blessings that you need so yeah that's uh, generally how you get the best gear in the game in dark side lots of grinding but i hope this helps folks because it's not really explained anywhere 
And uh, just for the last little thing, when you're leveling up, which a lot of you will be doing at the moment, try not to spend your crafting materials at all. Just buy stuff from the shop, use it, it doesn't matter. When you get to level 30 and you're trying to target specific items, then start using them. You don't want to be wasting your crafting materials as you're leveling. And also, a uh, tiny, tiny add at the end here as well. When you're playing games, a lot of people haven't been told this. Crafting materials are shared between your group. So if you see anything on the map, like crafting materials, which is plate steel or diamantine, pick it up. Everyone in the group gets it. So you're not stealing it for anyone. It is for everyone. So I hope this helps. And if it does, you know, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. It really helps us out. And uh, until the next video, take it easy and I shall see you all later.